Mr. Yarmouth. Without objection, the gentleman from Kentucky is recognized for two minutes. Um, I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise to uh, oppose the previous question and to urge support of the democracy for uh, all amendment that we intend to offer if the question is defeated. The last thing Congress needs is more special interest candidates who don't answer to the American people. The Supreme Court decisions in Citizens United and McCutcheon have opened the floodgates of unlimited spending on campaigns. Protections against special interest influence on our elections have steadily eroded along with public confidence in government. The result is campaigns dominated not by ideas, thoughtful debates, or visions for the future, but by television ads, mostly negative and mostly funded by unaccountable outside groups. In my state of Kentucky, Mitch McConnell and his special interest allies have spent more than $8 million running nearly 26,000 TV ads in our Commonwealth. The vast majority are from outside groups attacking Mr. McConnell's opponents. Many bend the truth and, un and intentionally mislead Kentuckians which is a lot easier to get away with if the attacker isn't accountable to voters. Under our current political system, these groups are allowed massive influence over our campaigns, much more than any average citizen or group of citizens could ever exert. It's a system riddled with loopholes, lacking meaningful, meaningful disclosure, and more awash in corporate influence than ever. In Kentucky, Mr. McConnell's race is expected to cost $100 million. That would pay the annual salaries of about 2,000 public school teachers in our Commonwealth. And while Senator McConnell and other supporters of the Citizens United decision call this freedom of speech, it's actually the freedom to deceive. To be fair, dishonest ads are coming from both sides by both parties. These are ads made possible by Citizens United. And if the Washington Post fact checker actually had to present real Pinocchios for all the dishonest ads made possible by Citizens United, Geppetto would be the busiest man in America. That's why we need to pass the Democracy for All Amendment to put a stop to this runaway special interest spending on campaigns and return Congress to the people it was meant to serve. I yield back. Mr. Yarmouth. Gentleman from 